Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about tattoos and markings in your flesh that the celebrities uphold. Tattoos marking in your flesh that the celebrities uphold. And um, I'm going to show you in the description box below how these devils are already marked with the beasts. Okay. Once they sold, they sold. Take notice of those tattoos. Take notice that's marked in their flesh. They represent their God, Satan. Okay? Now, if you look at the description box below, you're going to see those tattoos and what they represent. You have the Butterfly Monarch Programming, Monarch Slave, bird, bird Cage Trap Altar, meaning their soul is trapped. Okay? Their soul is taken. Bipolar drama mask. Okay? Meaning they got many devils. That's what that means. Where they say smile more, cry later. <laughs> Durality. We all know what that is. Good and evil, right? Things they can, things they can't. Star pentagram. Represents Satan. Swallow birds. Blue bird pentagram is selling away. Okay? Um, selling away is dissociation. Another dissociation would be a uh, uh, ship tattoo. Okay. Um, what's the other one? Can I cry? Tattoo altars are pro believed to. They are programmed to believe they are going. They are incapable of feeling, and have no feelings. They cannot cry on their own doing their. I mean, cry. They cannot cry on do, doing their own suffering. Okay. It says Illuminati used to create an undetectable and total mind control slave. Then you have Masonic handshake. Okay, that these Freemasons use. Notice I showed you the Freemason prophets of all. Now you're gonna have the Masonic handshake. Okay, that these altars also carry. Key to the altars padlock is six six six. The number that they bear. They are already marked with the beasts. Okay, we are living it. Lightning electric shock. Represent Satan come down form of lightning that they cannot change. Okay. So, take notice of those tattoos, right? Of course, I didn't list the uh, sex beta ki uh, kitten programming. Of course, they have those too. Okay. But this is all the mark of the beast. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you. The chosen people of God, number, our number is the sand of the sea, okay? Meaning, we have, meaning we, to where the number cannot compare, okay? So, I'm going to show y'all the number of the chosen, and, sh and you already know the number of the wicked, okay? But first, let's go to Leviticus, Number of sand of the sea. That's what our number is. Leviticus 160. Okay. 160, 1928. Okay. I'll show some light to y'all here. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Okay, do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land to whore, to least the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. Okay, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Notice those tattoos. Represents the six 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 six. Three sixes. Six six six. Represents the 666 that they bear. Okay. All the celebrities have it. All the prophets of Baal have it. All of them that's rich and cahoot. Famous. And you know, they don't even have to be famous. They can be denying Jesus Christ. And go get that mark. Okay. The unbelieving. The abominable. The whoremongers. Okay. Now. 
Let's go to Hosea 110. Do not bear any markings in your flesh because Jesus Christ is your only God. That's what he's saying. Hosea. Let's go to Hosea. Okay. So y'all can see. Pay notice to people tattoos, you guys. Some already been in the mark to where they are blotted out of the land book of life. Hosea. 110. I'm going to read from verse 9. Then God, then said God, call his name Loima. For ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Yet the number of children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured, nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto him, ye are not my people, that it shall be said unto them, you are the sons of the living God. Okay. Let's go to Escalades 1 2. I'm letting you see. Escalades. Let's see. Where would it be here? Let's see. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go to Revelation. Let's see. Let me go to Revelation. I'm going to go to Revelation. Revelation 13. Verse 1. Okay, I will read here. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And upon his horns, ten crowns, and upon his head is the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were uh, as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power. And his seat great authority. And his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. And his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. Okay. What I said. They all wondered. Okay. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power to the beast. And they worshipped the beast. Saying who is like unto, him, unto the beast. Who is able to make war with him. Okay. This is what they serve and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name. See? And his tabernacle. And them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. Okay? And to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. This is who control in this world. Satan. Satanic. Beast, okay. God allowing it, and He only allowing it so He could take over to destroy them. Let's go. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship Him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain for the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And I behold another dragon coming out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and exercised all the power of the first beast before him, and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, and so that he make it the fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them, okay, that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had wound by sword and did live. Okay. And he had a power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many 
as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay? Y'all can see that. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bound to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Do not receive this mark, people. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast who is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6. As you can see, those tattoos represent that, right? Let's go to Revelation 14 here. Let's see. I think I'm going to read from right. Okay. Let's read. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Sinai, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, before the four beasts and the elders. And no man shall learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, but they are virgins. Hmm. As well as I. Okay. These are they which followed the Lamb with us soever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven having an everlasting gospel to preach unto them, preach it to them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with loud voice, Fear God and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment is come. Worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel, saying, But Babylon is fallen. It's fallen in that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and the presence of the, of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day, day or nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Okay. And it says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. And I looked and behold a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown. And his hand a sharp tickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in the side sickle, and weep for the time is come. For thee to weep, for the, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in the sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven. He also have a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, which had power over fire, cried with a loud cried out with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Had the sharp sickle saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle and get, gather the clusters of the vine of the earth. For her grapes are fully white. And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gather the vine of the earth and cast into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the wrath and the winepress was trounced without the city. And blood came out of the winepress even unto the horse burdles by the space of thousand six hundred furlongs. Okay. Now, let's go to Revelation 19. Okay. Let's see. Revelation 19, here we go. 
And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Aloha, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged a great whore, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, okay, and have avenged the blood of his service at her hand. Again and again they said, Aloha, and her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Aloha. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our God, all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard as he were, it were, and the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Aloha, for the Lord God of omnipotent, omnipotent, reign it. Omnipotent, reign it. Let us be glad and rejoice and give on to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is coming. His wife hath made herself ready. Amen. And to her was granted that she could be arid in the linen clean and white. That's how I seen myself in my vision. Dressed in white. For the fine linen in his is the righteousness of the saints. <laughs> He said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said to me, See, thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. Woo! Have I seen that white horse? That white horse is something of the word of God. Yes. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and truth, true. As I well I sat. And in righteousness he doeth judge and make war. <laughs> his eyes were as flame of fire on his head. Were many crowns and he had name written. And no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a whisker dipped in blood. And his name was called the word of God. And the armies which were in heaven following him upon white horses, cold clothes, and fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth go a sharp sword that with it should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he tread the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Yes, I seen this white horse. This is the wrath. Of the almighty God. Ah. He makes war with the wicked. <laughs> yes. Have I seen it? Have I seen it? And it had on his fisture. And on his thigh name written. King of the kings. And Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a Lord Boris. Lord Boris saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven. Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God, that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of the mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bound, both small and great. And I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth, their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken and with him the false prophets. Oh, this is Pepe. Yeah, the huh? And wrote miracles before him when he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. And them that worship his image, these both were, gate, were cast alive in the lake of the fire burning with brimstone. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. This is what it comes down to. God is going to clean house. Now, in the book of Revelation 20, I want to show you about the sand of the sea here. Here we go. Blessed is the holy. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection. On such the second death have no power. But they shall be priests... Ah, but there shall be priests, let's see if I can get it, of God and of Christ shall reign with him a thousand years, okay, and are, 
in a thousand years. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loose out of his prison. He shall go out to see the nations which are in the four, four quarters of God of the earth. God and O God to gather them together to battle the number of the who is since the sand of the sea. Do y'all see that? And they went up on the breath of the earth and compassed the camp of the camp of the saints about in the love of city. And fire came down from heaven, come, came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. The number whose sand of the sea. That's our number. We do not bear the mark of the 666 as chosen people of God. We are the number of the sand of the sea. Okay. I'm letting you see. What God we represent. Okay. Their God is the 666. Satanic God. Bezbezebub. Of God of Ekron. Our number is the Lord Jesus Christ. The number is the sand of the sea. Whose number cannot be measured. Do y'all see that? I'm showing you. To the reason why you should not make. Markets in the cloud of your flesh. Markets in your flesh to cut. Because when you mark yourself, you are representing your God. Okay? You are representing your God. I repeat, you are representing your God. Okay? So, I think I'm going to stop here. Let's see. This is where it started, you guys. In heaven. It says, And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought his, fought in his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil as Satan, which deceived the whole world, and he was cast out to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Okay? He's also, and he's, he's and, and false accuser of the brethren. I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, New has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God in day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved their lives unto the death. I stop there, people. As you can see, War was in heaven first. Satan and his beasts didn't want to listen. They wanted to be their own gods. They denied Jesus Christ as their only God. So, when people sell their souls to this thing, listen well. They have made an oath to plead unto it. To have given their soul up to it for eternity. Okay? Now, their names are written and blotted out of the Lamb Book of Life. They're no longer written. This is how dangerous it is to sell your soul. Now, you shall only serve the Lord Jesus Christ, people. Don't, do not mark any cuttings or markings to put upon your flesh. Just serve the Lord Jesus Christ like you're supposed to, and you shall be rewarded in heaven. Jesus Christ is God.